Hey guys, welcome back to another Thrift Store Finds Monday. And uh, I have a whole lot of music to show you. And it's uh, this is where I really have fun on Mondays. I love showing this, uh, all of my finds and a lot of, um, you know, a lot of records that I've collected from thrift stores in, let's say, the last six months or a year or even back to 10 years. Uh, a, a f I'll show a few of those. So, you know, let me just go ahead and get started. And first of all, I have some CDs, and here is Mr. Bobby Blue Bland, and, uh, you know, Two Steps from the Blues, and you have so many great, you have uh, Cry, Cry, Cry on this, I Pity the Fool, and St. James Infirmary. All right, and next up from Cardiff in Wales, that would be Super Furry Animals, that's Fuzzy Logic. Found that not long ago, and just a few days ago, uh, Green by R.E.M. You know, you have Stand, uh, Pop Song, 69, uh, I Remember California. And uh, isn't that so significant uh, as of what's going on? California's burning. And next I found the soundtrack to The Doors. And uh, love this one, man. This has so many great tracks on it. And next, uh, yeah, just three days ago, I got, got me some Fleet Foxes, the first record. So excellent. There's the tracks. And did I say I got the nice price on that? <laughs> yeah, no, these are $1.50. They're not a dollar. Hey, $1.50 is okay, too. We've got uh, Hard Again, Muddy Waters. And, you know, just the first track alone, uh, Manish Boy, is so killer. And the last CD I'm going to show, June Carter Cash and her husband Johnny doing the duets. Really cool to have this. Let me show you the songs. All right, so those are some CDs. And now these are really, really recent uh, vinyl finds. And, you know, I haven't had a lot of time to... Um, to go around to uh, my local spots, my thrift stores. Just been busy with work and family. But I, ha I did find a few things and um, a few records that I'm very happy with. But first of all, from the UK in 1985, this was a number one hit in the UK. And that's part Paul Hardcastle with 19. This was a big single, guys. And this is a 12-inch single. Really cool to have this. I always had this on CD, but when I saw it on vinyl, I, you know, I, I grabbed it. And next, uh, this was cool. Now, I have this. I don't know where it is, but I love me some Janice. Janice Joplin, one of my all-time favorite female vocalists. And this Greatest Hits, you know, I spun this. It just sounds fantastic. So good. Masterful. Uh, vocals. I mean, legendary performances for Janis Joplin, you know, with a full tilt boogie band, Big Brother. You know, I really like a lot of the Big Brother stuff, uh, the very, very best. But she had three, you know, killer bands up until she passed away, so sadly. And now, okay, don't laugh, you guys. Muzak. Oh, yeah, this is what got the whole thing started. And, you know, this variant, it's nowhere online. I looked and looked. And this is from the early 70s. And, of course, the science of relaxing music. And, you know, this is the precursor to, I mean, smooth jazz and new age is music. And I remember as a kid in the 70s being in elevators and listening to this stuff and going just like, you know, gagging. But this record is really cool to have found. Uh, the Inner Sleeve, it's in uh, many, many different languages. And uh, yeah, they're going, boy, JT has really lost it. He's showing a Muzak record. But this thing is near mint minus. It's perfect. It was just um, archived and that's it. So that's Muzak. And then, guys, from 1977, that would be Mandrill. This is cool. We are one, Mandrill. You know, and Mandrill was an awful lot like Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's say Ohio players, funky, a little jazzy, a little bit like Santana as well. So Mandrill is the inner sleeve. 
And on the Arista label, <laughs> yeah, Mandrel. I mean, that's so cool. And here's a really overlooked uh, soul singer, uh, disco funk, and that would be Thelma Houston. And this is one of her very best records. And this is on Tamla. This is on Stevie Wonder's label, guys. Thelma Houston, any way you like it. And one of her very, very big hits is on here. But let me show you the Tamla label. And uh, Don't Leave Me This Way is on here, the Kenny Gamble tune. And of course, Kenny Gamble was such a huge songwriter in the 70s and the 80s. So Thelma Houston. And I've really been, uh, you know, I've been playing California Dreamin' a lot on guitar lately. And, um, you know, man, Jose Feliciano, this is my favorite uh, record of his. Of course, it has California Dreamin' on it, Light My Fire, and I Love Her, Here, There, and Everywhere. And this, guys, my copy, my other copy is a Near Mint Minus. Look at this. Yeah, and it's on the original, this is the OG, and it's on the original RCA Victor. So I think this is my number one for that Feliciano album, uh, for sure. And next, guys, Gay Bikers on Acid from the UK. And these guys from 1987, and this is... Um, Drill Your Own Hole. And there are a couple of really good tracks on here. And, you know, this is the precursor to that whole early 90s scene from the UK, from Scotland to the UK, Wales. I mean, this is really interesting. And I got this for so, so cheap. Here we go. Look at that gatefold. I mean, it's an interesting record. And um, there's just a lot going on on the tracks. And a lot of you guys are going to know gay bikers on acid from 1987 and uh now this is this one i mean i got goosebumps because i'm a big fan of this band art rock uh out of the uk and that would be 10 cc and i never had this on vinyl and this is the original soundtrack from 10 cc a dollar 50 guys all those records are pretty much a dollar 50 that i just showed and this is a thrift store find I found a long, long time ago. I'd say 10 years ago. And it was so near mint minus and so clean. And that would be Love Over Gold, uh, Dire Straits. And who would have ever thought that this was going to be used for audiophile demonstrations and so highly regarded. I remember when I first heard this, my girlfriend in the right around 1984 loved this record. And it was a little it was a little too smooth and soft for me. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I really enjoy the first three Dire Straits albums a great deal. So Love Over Gold. And nowadays I do really respect this record and love it. All right. So those are my recent finds, except for that last Love Over Gold. And now I promised I was going to get back into the 80s. And here we go, guys. Here we have. Yeah, here we have the tubes. And Fee Waybill, and uh, oh yeah, so cool. This has White Punks on Dope. <laughs> Love the tubes. I used to ski with Fee at a Slide Mountain, which is uh, next to Mount Rose uh, on the Nevada side of North Lake Tahoe. Yeah, we burned a few runs here and there. Great guy. The tubes. And I got to show me some, uh, you know, you got Rendezvous on here. You got Roadrunner, uh, In the Naked Eye, Getting Away with Murder. And that would be Greg Kin. I showed uh, another Greg Kin LP last week, and I wanted to show another. Love Greg Kin. And this is on the Berserkly label. And again, all thrift store records, all of these I found over, let's say, the past uh, year or two to five years and some 10 years ago. And I remember when I found this Ghost in the Machine at the thrift store. I was very, very stoked about this. Love this record. Regatta de Blanc and Ghost in the Machine and Synchronicity, I'd have to say, are my three favorite 
I mean, all the police records are fantastic. Who am I kidding? There's the songs. Very clean. All these records are clean, guys. And I remember as well when I found this uh, Raspberry Beret 12-inch single for Prince. I love this jacket. Love, love, love it. And look at this. Look at this label, guys. So cool. And the, the uh, side, too, is She's Always in My Hair. On the other side, the B-side of, um, of that 12-inch um, single. And next, Propaganda. This was a, a very recent find. I did have to pay $3 for this at a second-hand store. This is the about the only record that was from a second-hand store, not a true charity thrift shop, thrift store, as we say here in the U.S., there we go. Great music, propaganda. Let me keep going. And we got some more cow punk, the Beat Farmers from San Diego, California. And uh, let me show that hype on there. And they do an absolutely killer, killer cover of Powderfinger, guys. You know, of course, the great Neil uh, composition. You got. Country Dick Montana, great. And this is, uh, let me show you the, uh, the sticker. Mirabelli's is from a local Reno, Nevada record shop that is no more, sadly. And last week I showed uh, this uh, comedy artist, and I'm going to show him again, and that would be, oh yeah, Weird Al Yankovic. And here we, got, we have Another One Rides the Bus, My Bologna, right? And I love Rocky Road. Right? <laughs> okay. Weird Al. And these two records I found, these were, uh, oh my gosh, they were 25 cents each, both of these um, Weird Al records. It's the only store still in town that charges a quarter for vinyl. But generally it gets picked through. I rarely find anything there because there are guys just waiting for the truck to unload stuff. I mean, Seriously, once again, there's the hype. There's the crazy guy. Love Weird Al. He should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, guys. And so clean. We got Blondie and we have um, Auto American for this one. And, you know, this is a lot of 80s pop. I mean, some isn't so poppy, but most of it really, really is. And... Uh, you know, again, this is, you know, you find this, this, these would be good finds at thrift stores. Auto American. And I remember when I found this one, Robert Plant, Principle of Moments. Fantastic. I think this was a dollar. This was a long time ago. This was about nine years ago uh, in central Reno. And there's the tracks. And this is a near mint minus. There we go. And this is fantastic. Pure pop for now, people. That would be Nick Lowe. And uh, one of Nick's greatest LB LPs, absolutely, for sure. You know, the seminal artist, Elvis Costello, Graham Parker, Nick Lowe. You just can't get much better. There he is. And moving on, Blinded by Science, Thomas Dolby. This is a uh, mini LP of five songs. Wonderful. This man's a genius. And there's the tracks. Now this is interesting. Uh, very, uh, somewhat rare, not expensive. The Stingers, this is on a promo. And this is very interesting, LA uh, New Wave Band. And guys, look, mastered by Bernie Grunman at A&M. Yeah, at A&M. And this is, uh, this is really unusual, guys. Look at that label. Pleiades Records. Out of 
out of Northridge, California. That's in the valley. And next, uh, Carl Wallinger from World Party Private Revolution. Love World Party. Fantastic. And I like the way he does Dylan covers. I like the way he does Beatles covers. So great. If you ever see World Party records, pick them up. And if you don't get it at first, you will after two or three spins for sure. Now here's another unusual one, and I'm just going to wrap it up with this. Counting the Beat, Swingers. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so these are my thrift store find uh, uh, records for this Monday. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Here's the tracks. And I'll see you on Thursday for my new vinyl buys. All right, thanks for watching. All right, have a good one.